Hey pilots, I'm Hans for Precision Aerobatics and this is a PA Tech Tips video. The idea came to me from one of our good customers, Larry, and he asked, how do you hold and fasten your batteries and receivers to the trays inside of your airplanes? And so as I described this to him on the phone and through text, I realized, you know what, this would make a much better video and a lot more people could benefit from it. So what I have here is a battery tray removed from a long deceased Addiction X that I had and how I used to hold my batteries in was with this kind of material Which is stuff we would find in a utensil drawer. It's an anti-slip mat It comes in a roll you can find it at a grocery store at a hardware store and I would cut a little piece like this And I would lay it on the tray and then I would take my battery which didn't have any velcro of any sorts on it Right onto here and I would throw a strap over the top of it a velcro strap and You know what? You can pull it pretty tight and you can get it pretty tight, but what ends up happening is there's always a little bit of wiggle room and I didn't want to have to deal with two straps on it to take care of that. Also, if you pushed hard enough, you could still slide the battery forward. And while I never had any in-flight failures completely, I did find the battery would come down sometimes a little askew or it had slid a little bit, enough to where you could maybe even perceive it in the CG. But you darn sure don't want this thing coming loose and disconnecting and cutting power to your airplane. So at Joe Null 2017, Sean Venunu, owner of Precision Aerobatics, saw me fumbling with everything and went, whoa, 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 I got a better way. And he was right. So here is the best way that I know of to secure your batteries. What I have here is the same battery tray with hook side adhered to this battery tray. And I have this battery with hook side adhere to the back of the battery. Now my recommendation is to use the longest strip you can for the most contact you can. But for illustrative purposes, I'm gonna use the cloth version that comes in the PA kit. And what we notice is when we fold the hook side to itself, it actually will stay engaged. Now it's not, there's no real strength here. But we're not going for strength. What we're looking for is we're looking for these hooks to actually interlock with each other and create a rack system. And so the tighter I squeeze with my fingers and if I try to spread them, I can't do it because these hooks are all interfering with each other. Same concept here. These two pieces, when they're squeezed together, we've got this contact area that's this big and we've got pressure applied to it. These teeth are engaged or these hooks are engaged with each other which won't allow this battery to slide or shift or twist at all. It's not going to move as long as you've got it adequately clamped down, which we'll get to next. Another side benefit to this is it allows you to make very, very fine adjustments to where your battery is. And again, your battery is not going to move, so you can move it up just a little bit, get your CG exactly where you like it, make your mark however you do it, and you've always got that repeatable CG, which is great. What is needed to make this perfect is a little piece of foam. This little bit of squish here is very important because that foam is actually fighting back. It's trying to expand back. So it's keeping constant pressure on uh, this, this assembly versus if you just had it squeezed down on the battery itself or on a strip of uh, loop side Velcro on top, that's it. It's not getting any tighter than that. But, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? Well, same thing. We're squeezing this down. Well, that foam is exerting some force trying to re-expand itself. How do we strap it down? Ah, good question. Commercially available battery strap. The reason I don't like these, in an airplane at least, is I'm afraid that you lose something when you come down here and you pull super, super, super tight because you can with these. You can pull really hard and you can lock that sucker down. The danger of that is, is this is only held in you know, on a few glue joints and now you're putting pounds of pressure pulling this up and one day you're gonna find you could detach your entire battery tray from your airplane. I've done it. I don't like these anymore. So, these are the two straps that came with your PA kit, right? I was asked, how do we make these work? Well, it's pretty simple. Overlap them and fold them back on themselves. If you don't want to do this, go to the hardware store and pick up a, an inexpensive roll of hook and loop, right? This is hook on one side, loop on the other, and cut it to length as, uh, as you need it, as I did here. 
So the battery's taken care of. What do we do with our receivers? Well, we use Velcro. 3M has something they call dual lock, which is a plastic version of the Velcro. There is no hook and loop side. It is mushroom shaped hooks and they are identical on both sides. Now they're extremely strong and they come in two sizes. Actually they come in three, but what I found commercially available, they have this size and it's available in white and black. And they have one where the spacing of the mushrooms are, they're much shorter and they're much denser. Uh, the spacing is much tighter. I like this stuff. The only uh, drawback I see to this is that when it's mated together, it adds a little bit of thickness. It's not quite a quarter of an inch, but it's, it's approaching that. So whatever you have attached this to, it's going to be standing up a little bit. Here's what I love about it is you can cut this so nice and easily with a pair of scissors. And if you look, the mushrooms run in parallel with each other. Well, in between the two mushrooms is a great, a great place to put your aerial antenna wires for your satellites, other small wires that are in your airplane. Thanks again for watching. We hope you enjoy your airplanes. Happy flying.